Well, hello, everybody. It's so nice to have you here again to um, watch another video of whatever, whatever, what have you. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, but it's also for other people doing other food programs, whatever works for you. But this is just a boost to keep you energized in whatever your choices are, or to nudge you into making those tweaks that you promised you do after 4th of July, after Labor Day, before Columbus Day weekend, all that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> so here we are. I practice the keto um, lifestyle and I do have ample veggies. I keep my carbs under 20 total. I'm a believer in the total carbs, not the net. So it's usually under 20. A good day is under 10, but I love my veg. Missed it to pieces when I was doing carnivore. So I'm glad it's back in my food plan. I just turned 70. I've been practicing keto and um, low carb, high fat and carnivore, all those sorts of things for about the last six or seven years. And um, gave up grains. I still have some sugar on occasion, but not to the point of my sugar carb being awakened. And I mean, my sugar addiction being awakened. And so I enjoy what I have. Sometimes I have fruit on my cottage cheese. Sometimes I don't, but there's always some good veggies. I love my cucumber, my celery, my cauliflower crumbles, asparagus, Sugar snap peas, those sorts of things. Brussels sprouts are up there top of the list. Every now and then I'll have a rare and occasional and appropriate sweet potato, but um, I'd been hankering for one for a long, long time. And when I finally had it, I was like, okay. But it wasn't something that I say, oh, I want that all the time. I have, um, I weaned my way off of loaded coffees, meaning creamers and, and carbs and alternative sugar and fats and alternative sugars. So now I just have black coffee. Nobody's more amazed than I am. <laughs> there wasn't a parade, but I felt there should be right after all the years of nothing but loaded coffees. And I have um, ample water. I was admonished by my nurse practitioner into drinking more water that my kidneys needed more water. So I added another 20 ounce of heavily salted and, and lemoned warm water into my food plan. So today is part two of just the reminder refresher about what we're having for our uh, fruits and veggies. And um, this is the 2020 Environmental Working Group's Clean 20, clean 15, excuse me, clean 15 of the veggies. And um, so it's interesting. So what this says to me is that you don't have to be spending the extra bucks to get the organic versions because their outer layer, skin, rind, whatever is um, strong enough so pesticides don't penetrate their, the shell, as it were. And so you're safe to save your money and then put your your um, other money in, in organics into the things like the strawberries. I'll just say the, the, dirty, the dirty 12 for 2020 are still strawberries, spinach, kale, nectarines, apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, tomatoes, celery, and potatoes. Those are, those are the dirty 12. So put your extra organic box that way. These are the clean 15 for 2020. Avocados, sweet corn, pineapple, onions, papaya, sweet peas that are frozen, uh, eggplant, asparagus, cauliflower, cantaloupe, broccoli, mushrooms, cabbage, honeydew melon, and kiwi. So I was surprised at some of those thinking that how is their skin thicker than some of the um, the dirty 12? So I'll just say them again. Avocado, 
Some of us still have that. Sweet corn, on occasion, people have it. I haven't in a long, long time. Pineapple, haven't had that in a long, long time. Onions, don't really favor them. Papaya, don't really have a lot of that. Sweet peas, frozen. Well, yeah, sometimes I have a hankering for peas. Peas and lamb seem to be a marriage that I'm used to. Um, eggplant. I've been toying with the idea of doing an egg parm without flour, but I haven't done it. It takes a lot of oil. It's messy, but I do love it. Um, asparagus, that's good. I buy the um, organic one. Whole Foods has them, but they're clean 15. Um, cauliflower, which is good because I like my cauliflower crumbles. And um, cantaloupe. And I did have a cantaloupe earlier this season, along with a honeydew melon. So those two are safe if you still have them. I have them in very small quantities. The honeydew really satisfies any sweetness that I need or think I need. Kiwi is something that I like as well. Somebody says you're supposed to eat all of it for all of the, um, even the outside part, that furry part. I don't. Broccoli, mushrooms. Cabbage. I buy the shredded cabbage for my broccoli slaw, uh, for my um, crack slaw, and also for my slaw that I have with my primal avocado Italian uh, dressing, one tablespoon of that. I've tried the lettuces twice, and they still aren't being friendly to me. I guess that's payback for my big A salads. So that's, that's the clean 15, a rereading of the dirty 12 and so um if if a veggie that you have isn't on that i guess we're just supposed to wash them and before we have them um so um yesterday i had an instacart order of over 200 dollars worth of organic mostly berries some veg chia seeds were organic the yogurt was organic anyway it's a very interesting food style that I tried to figure what this person ate. She was very particular about things, um, make them hard. She did not get organic bananas. I heard that you don't need to get organic bananas, even though they aren't on the list, because of their, um, obviously, their real strong skin. And she got organic, as I said, chia seeds, the yogurt. But it was funny, at the very bottom, they put the frozen. And there, there's a Ben and Jerry's ice cream, so she must have a treat. I also yesterday had a um, an order, and it I could see when I got to this house, this beautiful house on the water, with her private nurse. It was probably twenty four seven. Um, about fifteen pints of Ben and Jerry's <laughs> and Haagen Dazs ice cream. So she must <clears throat> she must love her ice cream at the end of her meals. It was kind of sweet. So anyway. Um, Yep, I keep doing what I'm doing. I shop for others with my Instacart. I deliver others' foods and mostly things like Starbucks to Uber Uber for Uber Eats and um, enjoying all of it immensely. I try to keep my Uber trips to a minimum with people in the car. I still take all of the precautions, but oh, it's nice to end the day with a clean car because most of it was Uber Eats and um, Instacart. So I do enjoy it. I get to see um, products, obscure products, um, and then some ones that like hold an interest for me, new products. Um, but I always appreciate people that do the organic or do the grass-fed. It's just fun. Um, and the cheeses too, some people, you know, they've got, I can just picture them on in their beautiful home on the water in these towns that I end up going to deliver to, having their wine and fancy cheeses as they look out at their water water view and then just enjoy life. It's kind of funny because I live kind of in the center of Hyannis, which is kind of like the capital of Cape Cod, which is great for uh, rides and food and errands and doctor's appointments, but I'm not looking at any water, but it's just a mile and a half to two miles away. So I do get to see it a lot. And so with my keto, it just seems to serve 
its purpose. I'm really happy doing it. My 70 year old metabolism seems to um, respond to it. And um, yeah, I like it. I enjoy my fats. I enjoy my butter. I enjoy my ghee that I have on vegetables. Sometimes I put it in things like the crack slaw or the beef stew, things like that. The beef stew is made with collie crumbles and just a few grams of carrots and it just all works. Works. I guess I've gotten used to the taste of things. I use a lot of pink Himalayan salt and real salt um, on my foods and in my water. Um, but I don't, well, I use, I do use a lot of hot sauce, I guess, when I have my crack slaw. It just kind of all goes together with my ghee and my sesame seed oil, which I know is a seed oil, but I have one tablespoon per week, uh, <laughs> which is in comparison to all the Uber Eats franchise food that I deliver. So I'm happy. It's quite simple. It's quite boring, as some people you know, never miss a chance to tell me about. Why do you even do your videos? You're so boring. You say the same thing over and over again. You show the same meals over and over again. <laughs> it makes me laugh because the flip side of that is people that are just starting out on their keto or carnivore or just taking better, making better food choices for themselves and they watch my videos or they see what I'm eating and they thank me because they just don't have a clue how they're supposed to do something. For the record, I usually start with keeping my calories under a thousand. It took a lot of gyrations and eating two pounds of just meat for nine months. And um, I realized that my body responds well to under a thousand calories because I have an old metabolism. And so I have an abundant, wonderful one meal a day between two and three in the afternoon. I go to bed at six. Um, in the evening because I get up early to do things like this and Uber and my life. And so it just all works. I, um, I love having that one meal with all the different plates. You've seen them, plates and dishes and things like that. And um, I enjoy a nice hunk of beef. You know, I, sometimes I have like 12 ounces of steak on the big green egg steak day. Other times I have six ounces of pot roast and it's totally satiating. So it, it's, it's consistent, but changing, if you know what I mean. I mean, certain things have an appeal to me. I still weigh and measure my foods. I weigh my, my body <laughs> once a month at the beginning of the month. I just like to keep it all in check. It's just a guide, not, I'm not gonna die um, from what I weigh if I've gained or if I've lost, as long as my Banana Republic jeans fit me and my cashmere sweaters fit me, I'm happy and it all works. So I hope you are having a great day as well. You've got your cuppa, you have your plans. Maybe you do some rebounding. Maybe you do some bands for resistance. Maybe you do walking. It's all good. Whatever you do that works for you is a great thing. And I'm so glad that you're here. I don't want to do this without you. I'm so happy to be doing keto again. Life is good. And I will see you the next time here on Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Enjoy your waning fall days in September like I am, that beautiful golden glow of September. I love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.